Diaspora Arirang is an exhibition that asks first, 1.5, and second generation Korean American artists. Who are you? Where did you come from? How are you surviving? Like singing Arirang, a most loved Korean folk song that has thousands of variations, each artist in this exhibit defines their diaspora experience in their own version of Arirang. Sherian Kisun Burnham. The works presented in Diaspora Arirang are autobiographical montages reflecting her background as a Korean adoptee. The work synthesizes her conscious and unconscious connections to Korea her Korean heritage, and of being apart from yet a part of the wider Korean community. Yoon Jung Choi On your journey as a diaspora, you will always need a place to rest whether it be for a day or decade. In her work for Diaspora Arirang, she explores her belief that where your pillow rests is the place you belong. Kucha Kim. She left her homeland more than a half century ago to pursue her studies. In her new home, whoever she met, whatever she touched felt strange. Her one constant comfort was the night sky, full of twinkling stars and the hazy moon. It was the same sky that inspired her in her homeland. Sunny Kim. With a different color palette, she reinterpreted the emotions associated with the colors of the Korean flag, red, blue, black, to express the future of Korean expressionism. Won Shil Kim. The diaspora has permeated her life through her mother. Although she is Korean, she was born and raised in Japan. As a stranger to her homeland, she moved to Korea after World War II. Her awkwardness to Korean and its culture affected her siblings and her growing up. When she immigrated to America, she again was displaced due to language and cultural barriers. She always asks questions. Is this my destiny? Yanggu Park. Kimchi paintings symbolize his experiences with his mother. He reminisces of his childhood in these paintings. Caroline Yu. 
What am I? What are you? Asks who and what defines what is Korean. Using fragmented 3D scans of traditional jade vases from her grandmother's house in the motherland, her computer screen plays K-dramas with English subtitles and Korean kitschy objects found across the USA. Plays with the notion of custom and place to probe how the term Korean is transforming as capitalism finds a larger interest in cultural content and the diaspora continues to fluidly evolve.